Hey, ladies, I'm going to go ahead and mute you. But you should all be able to hear me, yes? And just waiting for the others to come on. We'll wait the four minutes. I'm incognito because I had my eyebrows done on Monday. So I'm covering. Can you see how dark they are? I haven't wiped them at all yet. All right, let's see. Let me get my notes together. All right, we're just waiting for the others. We got one minute and then we're gonna get started. Y'all can hear me, right? Okay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So we have our session that is still um, going through the Eighth. So this session is over on March 8th, which is about a week away, maybe a little longer than seven days away or whatever that is. Um, and then our next session starts again on the 11th. If you are sta not staying in, you need to let me know. Um, if you're staying in, I need to know because I need to know how many spots I'm opening up for new people. Because right now I have a wait list. Um, I had four spots open. They're filled now as of this afternoon. 
Um, so I'm on a wait list. So if you're not staying to the next session, I just need to know that. Um, the update form will be coming out this week for you guys. And then if, thank you to everybody that referred people to me. If you referred someone to me, just make sure I know you did because um, you guys get $10 credit for people that you refer. Um, and I had somebody today that someone referred and she wouldn't tell me who. And I was on the phone with her. I'm like, I kind of need to know so that she can get credit. And then she finally told me, but she kept telling me, well, someone in West Palm, well, someone in West Palm, my friend that lives in West Palm, and she actually lives in Rhode Island, <laughs> this person. So that page is tell me who. Um, so now I know who it is. So that worked out fine. But I, if you, you guys get credit. So it's not a secret, right? Um, where's my notes? Okay, I have created a new group in the app. It is a vegan group. It is ways for you guys that maybe you're not even vegan, right? Maybe you're just tired of eating turkey, chicken, fish, tuna, eggs. You want something different. It is not recipes because I cannot put a recipe in a group that I would not eat myself. Um, so I prefer not to do that. So it's basically, um, right now what I have in there and you guys are going to see it as soon as we get off the meeting, I just didn't want to put anyone in there without you guys knowing what was going on. Um, I have a list in there of all plant-based protein sources. And then there's a cheat sheet. So it looks like this, just a regular list, right? Typed out. And then the cheat sheet gives you an idea of how many proteins, how many carbs, and how many fats for a given item. So it should help you, and you could print it, help you if you're deciding that, oh, you know what? I think I want pumpkin seeds. How much fat is in that? How many carbs are in that? Because it is a source of protein. It might not be a huge source of protein, but um, it will help you. Like spinach actually has a ton of protein in it. Um, mushrooms have protein in it. So it might not be, this is all based on hundred calories, amount of hundred calories. So you might be eating more than that or less than that. And you would have to figure out the macros on your own, but this is a great tool just to look at as a vegan protein option list. Um, I think I was going to ask you guys who wants to be in it, but I'm just going to put everybody in it. You don't have to look at it. It's no, you're not going to get a ton of notifications because there's not a lot to put in there, right? Um, but I do want to know, and you guys are going to give me this because I'm not going to ask any time after this. Do you want a group for vegan recipes where you guys can contribute vegan or vegetarian recipes? Nod, thumbs up, any of those things would work for me. So the two people I could see really don't care. Because they like to eat meat. Just kidding. <laughs> or they don't cook, one or the other. Um, Bonnie is a vegan. So would you want a recipe group? Sure. Yeah, I'm not a vegan. I'm like more of a pescatarian. I eat fish. Okay. Okay, so cool. It's not really vegan. Okay, but you don't, but you only eat fish. Okay. So would you yeah. contribute yeah. to a recipe if you could? I mean, if you had, would you contribute them? Yeah, if I had. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cheryl, how about you? Would you be interested in that, like a recipe group? I know you're not vegan or vegetarian or pescatarian, but I know you like to eat different. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to create a recipe group. Just it's going to be called Vegan Recipes. Just so you all know, I'm not going to be very original. Um, there's really not much of an option. And the vegan protein group, the picture looks like a leaf. I tried to be like vegan, leafy. I don't know. Um, so that's going to be the new group. So I've already created it. I will add you guys. Um, one more thing for housekeeping is this Sunday, um, I am teaching a total body sculpt class at the UFIT in Green Acres. And that is on Lake Worth and Jog Road. It's at 830 in the morning. We use barbells, dumbbells, benches, resistance bands, total body. If anybody's interested, you can be my guest. So just letting y'all know that. If you're watching on record, you guys can be my guest too. I just need to know if you're coming or not. 
Um, you can tell me the day before. I just need an idea so I can let the front desk know that they should be expecting people. Okay. Um, I think that's all my housekeeping. Pretty sure. Okay. Um, all right. So now I want to talk about two things. So the first thing I want to talk about is a couple of ways of how to find balance between fitness, health, and your mental health. Um, and I want to jump ahead and I'm not going to jump ahead because it's something I have a really hard time with. But um, when I get to there, I'll talk about it. For me, more is between um, my mental health and something that we're going to talk about. So we'll get to there. Okay. So something that will help you find balance between your fitness, your health, and your mental health is planning. Taking time to plan your day, your week, your weekend. I hear it all the time. I was so stressed out this week and I couldn't get my workout in. And I say to people, when the person says this to me, I always say, well, did you plan for it? Well, no, I did, but then I overslept. So I didn't ever got my workout in. And that's excuses for, for one thing. If you have a goal, set your alarm. You're not going to oversleep and take the time to plan to do it, right? Um, I know you see memes all the time. Put it in your calendar like it's a, a, a meeting at work. Treat it as if you can't miss something. And then you won't stress out about, oh no, I might miss it because it's already in your calendar. Um, allocate specific times of maybe one to six days out of the seven where you might be able to get your fitness in. And at least if you hit two or three of those, that will help you with your fitness. It will help you with your health and your mental health. Fitness is more therapy than anything, right? Right. Um, so you have to do it. When I'm stressed out, the first thing I do is walk up here and get on the treadmill. I might not be at a 5.5 like Cheryl when she power walks ish runs, whatever she calls it on the treadmill, but I'm, I'm doing something. I'm not sitting in front of the refrigerator or in the cupboard eating because I'm stressed. Um, so you think of your, your fitness part. We'll start with that. Fitness, think of your fitness part as your therapy that you have to go to every couple of days, your therapist. And it doesn't have to be an hour. Nobody needs to be working out for an hour. I hear people say, well, I don't have an hour to work out three days a week. I don't either. I have 30 minutes. I have 20 minutes. I might have 15 in the morning and 15 at night. No one says you have to do your whole workout at the same time. So start thinking about that. Um, a different Nicole, not the one that's in here, but Nicole that I private train, who's also in the Shred Tribe, she started not having time for herself because she works full time. She has a 16 month old baby. I come to her house at 5 a.m. to train her or 5.30 a.m. to train her. Um, and she was like, I don't have any time for me. I train with you. I turn around, I got to empty the dishwasher, the baby's up, I start working, I'm out the door, get home, I'm exhausted. She started getting up, uh, I think she said 20 minutes earlier than to meet me, to do her journaling for gratitude, to have her cup of coffee before her day just starts to go. And she has it planned every day. Um, it's in the app, actually. She had me put it in her day, her to-do list, um, to get up in the morning to, 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 for her time. That's for her mental health. She's not working out yet. She's not eating healthy yet. She's getting her mind right for the day. So that is a great way to add some time to your day if you can get up earlier. Unfortunately, I already get up at 3.30 in the morning. So I would have to get up when I go to sleep to get that extra time in. But I do grab that time anytime I get. Mike walked in the door tonight and I was walking on the treadmill. It was like... After six, I had already done my workout, but I, I'm stressed out. A lot of crap going on at the studio. What, it's 15 minutes, right? Pop on my treadmill. So take time to plan. Um, 
grow your learning. That's mental health. Um, people always ask me, um, like, what radio stations I listen to in my car. I don't. You will never catch music on in my car ever. I don't even know what radio stations are anymore. The only reason why I know 103.1 is because I'm going to the Rib Roundup on Saturday, the country station. That's the only reason why I know it, because it's on every single ticket I'm receiving from I think The 103.1 Rib Roundup. I listen to um, self-help books. I listen to um, podcasts to better myself, but I also listen to Dateline 2020 and Criminal Minds. Um, and that's for my mental health too. So grow outside. If you feel like you don't have me time, maybe grab an audio book and listen to it in the car. That's your time. Maybe listen to meditation in the car or something. Um, there's one um, podcast that I love and it's about habits. But all he does is get on every day and talk about one habit. And it's like an eight minute podcast. And he's done. Most podcasts are not long. It's enough drive time. Dateline takes me like three car rides to finish it because they're like an hour and 47 minutes most of the time. Um, or I'll take it with me wherever I go because I can't finish it because I have to hear who, who killed the person. But And I'm obsessed with it, just so you guys know. Obsessed. I think everybody's a killer. I walk out my door in the morning. I think someone's going to jump me. I have to turn my car on now before I walk out the door of my house. So I know it's on so I can get in my car. It's crazy. Um, okay. Um, little pieces of new knowledge will go a long way. And it will help you with your mental health. So if you need ideas for podcasts, I have so many podcasts that I subscribe to for mental. Not necessarily, you know, macros and that kind of thing. More about um for women and that type of thing and i i love them um some of them i can't stand listening to them because of the voices but i still put them on and i try to get through it okay this is huge for me learn to say no how many problem how many problem how many people have the problem saying no for about anything cheryl can you bake me cookies um cheryl can you blah 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 whatever um, I know everybody asked Cheryl to make her big. She, everybody asked Cheryl to make big goods. That's why I use that as an example. Um, or I'll say, can I have granola? And like the next day you have granola. Like say no. That's your time maybe that you're taking away from. That is my biggest issue. Shannon, can you sub this class? Sure. It's like the only hour in my day that I can use the bathroom, but I'm going to go teach a class. Because I cannot say no. Um, and that's something that I have been working on probably for the last 15 years. Um, someone bought me a t-shirt one time that said, stop me before I volunteer for the next event. And we're just, that my personality is I want to make everybody happy. I don't want anybody to be mad at me. I don't want anybody to be upset with me. I don't want anybody to say, well, Shannon wouldn't do it for me. So I'm that person that has to do for everyone. I need to learn to say no. Um, saying no is so much easier to say it than actually do it. Right. Um, because like I just said, we worry about other people's opinions of us. If you had planned a workout and then someone said, oh, come with me to coffee instead and you don't want them to be upset. Say no. What's more important to you? Your health, your mental health, your physical health or going to get a cup of coffee that you could be chatting with this person any time of the day, every day. Right. Um When we say yes, it makes us feel good. It calms us. Whereas when we say no, we have that guilt, that that feeling of I don't want you know my, don't I don't want them to have that bad opinion of me. So we need to start easy things. Whatever you think you could say no to, try it. Now, of course, if a boss says, "Can you finish this project?" or "Can you start this project?" I know it's Friday at five o'clock. You're not going to say no. You it's your job. But if your friend says, um, you always go to that class on Sundays at 8 a.m. Can't you just meet us this one Sunday to do this? No, that's my plan. That is my routine. I, there's no reason. I can meet you after. We can do it another day. We can do it later on in the afternoon, whatever it is. So practicing saying no. And then on the opposite side, I want you to practice saying yes to other things. Resting. Taking time for yourself recovery, 
because those are all important things for your mental health, your physical health, and your fitness health. Who does something for themselves once a week? It could be um, read a book by yourself. It could be sit outside by yourself. It could be, um, I'm, lately I've been doing like the sauna blanket, sitting by myself with the sauna blanket. I put my laptop on there. I do work, but it's still time for me. Um, what else can I say? Let's see. Um, I like having my head, like someone going to like cryotherapy or a massage, a pedicure, a manicure. Everybody in the chat right now, in the Zoom right now, and everybody watching report should at least raise their hand for one of those things. If you are not raising your hand, then you need to find time for you. Because if you're not taking time for you, you're going to lose it. And you're not going to want to give time to anybody else. So say yes to you time and say no to things that you're always saying yes to even though you shouldn't, okay? Next one. Um, make an effort to speak to yourself positively. That's so hard to do. We are our worst critics, right? Um, I'm never gonna be able to fit in that dress or I hate the way my hair looks or we're never like... I, I, me, myself, personally, I never look in the mirror and be like, oh my God, you are freaking amazing. Y'all might think I do that, but I don't. Um, or, wow, my hair came out great today. You know, I've ne I never do that. I walk down the stairs every time and I say, Mike, does this outfit make me look fat? And he looks at me like I'm freaking insane. How can an outfit make you look fat when you're not fat? But that's negative, right? We're, that, that's Im imposing on ourselves negativity. And we need to flip it around and be positive. Um, and it doesn't even have to be that. You can even say to yourself, wow, I did really great in that workout today. I killed it today. Or um, I took the time for me and went on that three-mile walk. And I'm so proud of myself. Or I said no to that person and I feel amazing, right? Positive talk will not only make you feel good mentally, it'll help relieve some stress, believe it or not. Because we have that underlying stress that we're not good enough. We don't look, you know, perfect. We all kill ourselves to look good working out, whatever it is. Then you deserve to compliment yourself. It drives me crazy when, um, so I have a friend, Rini, a lot of you might know her. She does the eyebrow threading. She's my friend that's Indian. She posts pictures of herself all day long. Um, I have a lot of people that say, your friend Rini is so full of herself. She's always posting modeling pictures. She's not a model. She's always posting modeling pictures of herself that other people are taking for her at her office. And I was like, you know what? She's not full of herself. She's proud of herself. She has come so far that why not be proud of yourself and post pictures. Why not say, damn, I look good and I'm going to post it. There's nothing wrong with that. She's not negative to somebody else and saying, you don't look as good as I do. Here's my picture. Here's your picture. Right? So being positive and being positive to yourself and saying those positive emotions will do wonders. Irini was the most quietest person when I met her like 12 years ago, 13 years ago. Um, she was very thin. And then she started lifting and started getting curves and started getting proud of herself. Now she's her little own little influencer model. And I think it's freaking awesome because she's proud of how far she's come. I will do it sometimes. I'll post my before and my after, or I'll post an outfit when I go out on Saturday nights because it makes you feel good. So do things that make you feel good. It'll bring out positive emotions. Um, back to exercise, exercise boosts your happy hormones, your endorphins. And that's one of the greatest things. And that's why exercise is also therapy. It all comes together because it brings out positive emotions. You walk out feeling amazing that you took the time to do it. You guys are moving around. It's so weird. Like I just saw somebody, like the squares are moving. 
Or I think Cheryl just got knocked out actually. Yeah, all of a sudden everybody just moved around. Um, prioritize your positive emo <coughs> emotions over your negative emotions. This has to be a conscious effort. Um, force yourself to think less about the bad stuff about yourself and more about the positive stuff. And here's a homework item. You're going to write down at least two things that positive about yourself. You can't twist it and turn it into a bad and you can't start it off while it was a bad and now it's positive. I want you to have a thought, two thoughts of something positive about yourself. It could be, I am the greatest grandma. It could be, um, Anything you want. I, I don't want to give you guys ideas, but I want you guys to send me your two positive thoughts by the next meeting. And if you're watching this on the cord, it's your homework too. And if you're not watching it at all, I'm going to be posting it in our um, uh, memes group. That, that's going to be the homework. Okay. Make sure you create a personal priority list. So... Um, in order to get balance, you have to establish what your priorities are. You should be the number one on your priority list. Because if you're not a priority, how are you going to make anyone else a priority? If you are not healthy, how are you going to be around for anyone else? For all those people that need you, that lean on you for every little thing. It could be kids. It could be your significant other. It could be work. It could be your parents. It could be anyone. And I see everybody's wheels turning. But if you are not a priority to yourself, then you're doing all of those people a disservice to. Cheryl, you disappeared. You left us. We're talking about personal priority lists. Now we're on a new topic. Uh my phone died, sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. I knew you left though. Um, so when you make a personal priority list, it will help you redirect your energy in a positive way because you're going to see you at the top of that list and know that you are that priority. Um, you may start to see that you're going to devote more time to those top priorities. And as you get bottom of that list, Maybe you're not going to devote as much time to that lower spectrum of your priorities, but whatever that priority list is, you're going to post it somewhere. I don't need to see your priorities. Did you miss our homework, Cheryl? Your homework is to send me two positive thoughts or sentences about yourself. It can't be a positive turned into a negative at the end. You can't twist it. It has to be a straight up sentence. I am blah, blah, blah. I can do blah, blah, blah. I'm really good at blah, blah, blah. I'm not giving you guys ideas. Um, if you start prioritizing low, if you start doing all the low priority stuff that's on your list, it's going to be physically draining. And that's where you need to start learning to flip the priorities. And it's going to give you stress that you do not need. And there we go back again to mental health. Um, Make time for rest and for fun. For me, fun is fitness. I know, weird, right? I would much rather like go for a hike or a walk or something. Like that's fun to me. I, I My priorities are all fucked up, but which is okay. <laughs> I love Bonnie's faces. I don't know if she's making them at me or if she's talking to somebody in her office, but I'm going to pretend they're for me because they're like, really, we know. No, um, I'm home. It's my daughter. She's making faces at me. Sorry. Oh, good. Love that. Um, like, I would much rather go to the gym than attend a social event. But that's my warped brain. Like, if you said you can go to a party on Saturday night or you can go to the gym, I would totally pick the gym. But I have been saying for at least 10 years that I need to learn balance. And I need to learn that the gym really is not social. Um, I don't go to the gym to talk to people. I go by myself, but it helps me. It makes me feel good. Um, I am I, I am the biggest introverted extrovert you will ever meet. 
Mike had a golf tournament last week and it was Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. He was gone all day and all night. And but prior to him going to this golf tournament, I was like, oh, Thursday night, I'm going to ask this person to go to dinner. Wednesday night, I have our meeting. Friday night, I'm going to ask this, this person if they want to go to the gym and go get dinner afterwards. Do you know what I did? Every night. I air fried my food. I went on my elliptical and I went on my treadmill. Wednesday night after the meeting, because he wasn't home yet, got back on the treadmill. Thursday night and Friday night. I, I, I would much rather just be home and do that than be social and go out and do stuff like that. But that's where I need to learn to flip the switch because that does bring you other mental joy and you need to have that. Like afterwards, I was like, I should have, you know, texted Christina. I should have asked Rini if she wanted to go get, you know, food, whatever. Because we're always saying we don't ever have time. And here I had all the time in the world and I didn't do it. Um, I am the person that makes plans and wishes they never made plans. Are you guys all like that? I feel like that's like everybody. It sounds great at the time. You're like, that's amazing. Well, we're going to get together on Friday nights, like two weeks away. And then the day I'd be like, shit, how am I going to get out of this? And then you can't. Um, Mike's always like, why did you make plans? Even Rini, she says to me all the time, she goes, I'll text her. I'll say, do you want to get California Pizza Kitchen Thursday night? I'm not working. Don't ask me today, Shannon. Call, text me on Thursday afternoon and let me know if you really want to do it or not. And we always do that now. Like the day of, all right, do you want to meet for dinner? Because one of us cancels if we make it too far ahead of time. Mike always calls us out on it. Um 80-20 lifestyle. I need to adopt that. 80-20 lifestyle. Mike kind of forces me into that, which is okay. We are very social because of him. If it was up to me, we would have food in the house every night and we would watch TV or watch a movie and just hang out every night. He gets me out of the house. We're going here. We're going there. We have our shows. We have friends dinners. You know, We do a lot of stuff because of him. And I'm so thankful and grateful for that because when I lived by myself, I never did anything. And I have so many friends, but I never did anything. So you need to do that 80-20 rule. Um, and then the last thing is use the power of choice. You have the power to live your life to the fullest. I'm obviously still working on that. I'm learning. I didn't even take vacations until I got with Mike. I didn't even know what a vacation was. Um, now I have to take like two weeks at a time, which is crazy. I've never done that. It's crazy. But take control and prioritize your time and your health. Change your pursuit for optimal wellness. The whole big picture. It's not just about losing weight. That is such a small part of it. It's changing your mindset. mindset. Changing our mental health. Changing how we look at food, fitness, our time alone. Um, so the, the book that I was reading that I got all this stuff from, they said every morning you should say and speak out loud, I choose to live my life to the fullest. How many of you can say that now? Do you do that? Does anybody live their life to the fullest? Okay. Um, maybe a little bit maybe 80 to 90%. Yeah. So um, that is such a great mantra. Like I think like two years ago, I had you guys write affirmations and we posted them on our mirrors. Does anybody remember that? Okay. Um, it's kind of like that. So that is the mantra for this meeting tonight. But now one more homework, one positive mantra or affirmation that you do already say to yourself, which I know my sister does one, that, or she did at one time, she told us she did. Um, she might not do it anymore, but she's going to pick it up. One positive thing that you can say to yourself every morning. I think that, hold on. Should be everybody's positive affirmation. Did you hear it, Cheryl, or no? Hold on, I gotta get to it again. You can do, do what you love. You create your reality. Feed fear a suck it sandwich. You are a badass. 
That's my favorite one. You are a badass. Um, if you have never do what you love, sorry, you create your feed fear a suck it. If you have never read this book, you are a badass. This is not the actual book. <laughs> this is like a mini version of the book, but it's so cute. And it came in this little box. Someone bought it for me, but it came in the box with the puncher thing. But this book is amazing. It's called You Are a Badass. So this is just like um, her first book, but she has a, you are a badass with money. You are a badass with family. You are, you are a badass with habits. They're all different. Obviously, people think that I am into this book because I have two of these. Because two people bought them for me. Um, but I, I always revert. I use them all the time. I use, love that. I use them all the time. I've used them in the meetings before. They make me so happy. But anyway, this little box came with the book. And it's like a shortened version of the actual real book. And there's also audio. I listen to her audio all the time. The same book. I can tell you her stories over and over again. I tried to see her in person when she came here, but it was way too expensive. So I couldn't do it. Um, but if you can get that book or you, I buy it for people for gifts. It's like one of the perfect things to give somebody. I buy somebody the, the book and a journal usually um, as gifts. And I love journals as gifts. Just so you guys know that always give me journals and like gratitude books and notebooks, stuff like that. I love that. That makes my heart so happy. I think Cheryl's gotten me one. My sister's gotten me one. Um, love it. Um, okay, so that's our meeting. Hopefully you guys pulled something out of it. I was trying to do something that I don't normally talk about. So um, that our next meeting, because I had two just in case, we're going to talk about why am I eating if I'm not hungry? So that's a good one, because that'll tie in cravings and self-sabotage and everything else. Um, and I, it kind of feels that way also with the, with the topic. So that's going to be our meeting for next Wednesday. And it's also our last meeting for this Shred Tribe session. That one, not this one. Um, so remember you guys, if you're staying on, let me know if you referred somebody. Thank you. By the way, I've gotten more free stuff that keep coming. These, this is makeup. I have setting powder, banana, translucent. Um, I don't wear makeup, but like, I don't know how to wear makeup. So I don't wear makeup. Um, this is contour series brows. Obviously we do not need that. I don't think I could put any more brow on me right now. Uh, this one is, I don't even know. Step-by-step -step contour series cream. I don't know. So um, probably by the end or in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to put all this stuff out for you guys to see and I'll go through it all. And then you guys, if you live locally, Stacey, by the time you come, I'll have so much more stuff. Don't worry. Um, if you live locally, I have that face oil. I have Lifeguard SPF sunblock. Um, this was the funny one, intimate care gel for women. Um, so if you guys start seeing stuff that you want, message me so that you can have first dibs on it all because that stuff I won't lose. I have a yoga kit. If anybody wants a yoga kit, um, I don't know. Every day they, they, oh, I have these things that just came today, which I don't know where I put them, but they go in your shoes so that the ball of your feet don't hurt. They're called like walk easies or something. I don't know, um, but I wear inserts, <laughs> but I have to promote them. So they send me their stuff. So um, I'm paying it forward. Um, and that's pretty much it. So uh, we'll see you guys next week. Have a great Wednesday and remember your homework, even if you're watching it on record and I'm also going to post it in the memes group. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you so much for coming on tonight and I'll see you guys soon. Bye everyone. Remember always be badass. Have a great night. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye.